Friday morning live. We got little pinky on the trailer. Little pinky on the trailer. I'm out in Bloomington right now. Cruising down uh, 69. All right, here it is, day number one. Uh, this is fresh off the trailer. I got the seat off. It's sitting over here on the trailer. I'm gonna get a little bit of video of that also. This thing had like moss growing all over and it was sitting underneath the tree. Just wanted to do a quick before video before I get started on tearing this thing down. It's funny how small they look without the lift and the wheels and all the accessories. This thing's, it looks like a, um, like a Power Wheels car that you'd have one of your kids playing on. It just looks super tiny, especially without the rear seats, uh, the rear step and the rear seat add-on. Uh, but I'm gonna start tearing this down. The people who had it before had a vinyl wrap on this thing. Uh, so my dad is gonna heat this stuff up for me and peel it off. I'm gonna drop these body panels off over at my dad's tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna let him tinker around with that for a little while. And then uh, we'll be doing a paint job on this. This thing's gonna get a massive lift, extremely tall lift. I'm not talking about no average lift. Uh, it's not just going to get your basic six inch that you can buy off of eBay. I'm going to do a, a substantial lift on this thing and a massive set of tires. At least 28 inch, maybe larger than that. I may, I may even do like some 33s. Alright, this is just going to be a quick walk around after I got it all tore down. Um, I got all the rest of the electrical gutted out of here. The only thing we're going to be using off of this is just the center shaft that's in the middle of this motor. Uh, we're going to be taking that all apart and pressing that out of there. Uh, but this is probably going to be the last video until I get this thing cut. So I'm going to be cutting this thing uh, pretty much right down the middle. And we're going to stretch this thing out roughly right around 24 inches. So I got this thing flipped up on its side. Uh, right now I want to try and figure out where I want to cut this at. I was looking online uh, on YouTube. I couldn't really find any videos on there where people had chopped them in half to extend them. Um, as far as getting any pointers on anything. But I know that I want to keep all of this intact as one where these brakes hook on for the rear brakes so this brace I want to stay uh, hooked into the rear section so I think I'm gonna cut right in between this floorboard and here I'm gonna cut it right there because I want to have some to hook on to here and then I also want to have some to hook on here now I probably will end up taking out some of this like from here to here because I'm going to need some metal to overlap with my extensions uh, here and then here as far as bolting to and this is going to be in the way uh, but I can always beef that up a little more later if that ends up not being strong enough but I think I'm going to cut it here cut it right here disconnect this for the rear brakes so that that's all one piece uh, cut it here, cut it here, and then I can unhook my fuel linkage right here for my, my gas pedal. And then later on, I can extend this rod, if I want to reuse this rod, I can extend this from the rear back up and make that longer and still use this end on this. Uh, so that's the plan. I'm going to take this off. Get these brake lines disconnected. And we're going to cut this thing in half. Alright, it's cut. No turning back now.
So you can see I left all this intact. So I got this thing propped up with a jack on this back half um, just so I could kind of see how long this thing was going to be on my distance as far as a side view. Uh, I still need to measure out and figure out exactly how long I need to make this. Uh, but you can see here, this is where my rear brake setup was. This is actually hanging right here. So what I can do is I can extend this longer, which will come through here and bolt on the center how it originally was. Um, and then the brake pedal will still work with all of this on the rear brakes. And then I can do the same with the throttle cable on this, like I said earlier in the video. Now what I think I am gonna do, because I have to be able to I have to be able to come through here either on the inside or the outside because I'm going to have some pieces of steel that are going to be in here that are going to bolt to this. There'll be two bolts here and then same thing on the inside, two bolts here. Uh, but the problem is this one brace right here is in my way. So I think I'm going to leave this section here. I'm going to leave this connected all the way out to the edge. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna notch this out right here, maybe even like from here to here. I'm just gonna remove this much out of here. Um, if I have to, I can brace this up a little bit better in the middle right here where my, uh, where my brake setup is here on the bottom. All that does is hold these two brake cables in place. Uh, but I would rather take some out here than out here on the outside because I want this all really, really sturdy on the outside of this. Uh, so that's the plan on that. So right now I just need to get my measurements figured out. This is going to be the end of my video. It's going to be, uh, we'll, we'll put this on as part one. Uh, so I'm going to try and try and figure out how long I want this to be. And then I'll go from there.